Hello YouTube, I want to show you my vacuum pump. I had to bleed my brakes. I've had problems with the back brakes uh, when the truck sets. I have a leak somewhere, so the fluid was low, messing around, ended up getting air in line, so I had to re-bleed them. If you buy one of these, get one like this. Do not buy the cheap one. This is repairable o-ring stuff here. They guaranteed me. Do not ask me right off what this port is for. I can't find my instructions. But here's the part that makes the vacuum. This releases it. Okay. You can use this on all kinds of stuff. I'll take a picture of the package. You can use it on transmission vacuum modulators. Your vacuum vents on your old school distributors and older cars. How this works is I gotta find some more hose. I'm down to a short piece. I can't find my long one. This goes on your bleeder. You loosen your bleeder screw. I take mine out and run a wire and make sure they're not plugged. If you take a wheel cylinder bleeder out, they're the same for the disc brakes or a wheel cylinder. You will see how it's made. There's a little hole in there. If you have trouble bleeding, put some Teflon tape around the bleeder threads just to get the job done, then remove it. Okay, how this works is you'll be sucking fluid through here and down this hose. This will become immersed in brake fluid. My cylinder is so small for the back brakes, halfway full you're about done, so I needed help. I had the wife help me fill the master cylinder because I pumped it till it was clear and clean. I just didn't wait till the bubbles come out. I put all new fluid in. So I know it was all clean, there should be no air left. When the fluid comes down that tube in there, it will fill this. That way when you let off the vacuum on your pump, if it tries sucking back, it will suck only fluid. You can do this with a pop bottle. You can run a hose into a pop bottle with some fluid, and when you do the old fashioned, someone pumps the pedal and holds it, and you release the bleeder. When you go to tighten it, it will not suck only just fluid up, no air. So you just wouldn't want a hose, or you don't want to just run it on the ground. Because the time it squirts and you go to shut it, you can get air. So always use a pop bottle if you don't have this system. This goes to your pump, so you can work away from your area, so you got plenty of room. I said this barely fit up behind my brake drum, backing plate, leaf spring, and everything, because I need to get another piece of hose, because this stuff will collapse. If you don't get the right hose, it will collapse. I need to get some more hose. This sucked shut on me because the bleeder was clogged. So I wasn't getting nothing. It just sucked that shut. I had to take the bleeder out and put a little wire through it and clean the hole. So that how that how that's how that works. No time for editing. You make a mistake. Get plenty of assortments with it. I also bought this because on the Weiss car there's a vacuum solenoid on the fuel rail. It had a cracked hose, and the car was running real bad at an idle ring, so we did a vacuum check on all the vacuum parts of that. So for a few bucks, you get all these little extras for using on stuff. Like I said, I'll have a picture of this and what you can use it for. I said, don't buy the cheap $20 one or whatever. Buy one of these. This is rebuildable. It says right on it. When I bought it, I made sure. It is built good. I know it's plastic, but it's built very good. If yours does not suck up to 25 at least, there's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Take it back. See how that'll go past 25? I usually don't have to go past that. You will know if your bleeder's plugged if you sit there and suck on it and it stays like this and no fluid comes out. So you're going to have to clean your bleeder. That's because I took my finger off. There is a release. Want to repeat it, which is very handy. I've used this to check all kinds of stuff since I bought it. The vacuum vents on my distributor, uh, old school vehicles. So it works for more than brakes. So thanks for watching. Just a real quick how to video. Might help somebody out if they're interested in getting one of these. Do not buy the El Cheapo, buy this one. Thanks for watching. Okay, also another quick tip. Do not let fluid get in this. It will void the warranty. That's what the cup is for. Do not let any fluids, gasoline, anything get in this pump. That is what that jar is for. And if you are worried that something might be leaking, like you're checking a vacuum modulator on an automatic transmission, use the cup. 
because if it is leaking, it'll start sucking fluid in this cup, and then you know you have to replace the modulator. But I'd recommend, even on a car, you're checking any back or stuff, go ahead and use this. So if you do suck any fluid, water, anything, it will get in here. Never let it get in this hose into that pump. It will void the warranty. Thanks again for watching.